Welcome back to ep another episode of Shareware vs. Steam, where we pit DOS Shareware titles against free-to-play and demos on Steam. Focusing on the solo and indie developers, digging deep to find the low end of both markets. We're using the soft key 2000 hit games CD set. And we will start with what should we pick this time? We already did Combat Checkers. We did Candyland. Let's do Stargate. Hold on one moment while I get this game ready. A space to continue. A is up. Z is oh. Take it easy. A. I need to figure out what the shortcut is. That it's been a while since I've used DOS box. DOS box shortcut for lowering cycles. Let's see, what is it? Decrease. Control F11. Let's try this. A is up, Z is down. Ugh. Up, Z is down. Go left, go right. Fire laser. Got two player. Set difficulty. Okay. This seems a bit fast. I want oops made the Hall of Fame let's try 306 cycles Yeah, this is Defender 2. Still seems a bit slow. Yeah, these controls are atrocious. Okay. Let's try joystick mode. I'm gonna need to plug a joystick back in. Hopefully it detects it. I have to restart DOS box though. Yep, I'm going to have to restart DOS box. I think, I think with a, let's see, hmm. Oh, 
Okay. So yeah, I'll definitely have to turn the cycles down for this, which isn't surprising considering the age of the game. Upper left, upper left. I think we're stuck playing, yeah, I don't have the gamepad configured, so we'll stick to yeah, these keyboard controls or something else. Okay, where is the proper... Oops. I'm probably the worst player at this game there's ever been. That's all right. Yeah, if you're actually good at this game, it's actually quite a fun game. But these controls are rough. If you get a joystick hooked up, it's actually a lot of fun. And you don't want to shoot the men. So yeah, it's not a bad little game. Stargate. If you get the controls worked out, which I still need to get worked out, it's actually a solid little title. I'd recommend it. Just takes a little bit of effort getting it working properly in DOSBox with the proper controls. So yeah, we'll put that down as a... Go ahead and find our section on the spreadsheet. I track down another game to do. Here we go. Shareware versus Steam, Stargate, or also known as Defender 2, will give a 3.52, which is uh, doing half point increments for this. So, lowest recommend that we have. And we'll head over to Steam now. Let's see what we got. 
What would be comparable, possibly? Hmm. You know, an arcade game? Doesn't necessarily... Raging Blasters demo. I'll go ahead and give that a try. See if we can find anything about Raging Blasters Steam. Buy Raging Blasters for fourteen ninety. Ouch. Game plus soundtrack twenty one fifty nine. This better be a really good title for the price. Peak today one all time peak fifteen. Has share and split screen co-op, so it's, it's comparable. Last updated 14 days ago, released January 22nd. And here we go. Let's go ahead and get the game up on the screen. We actually have two good games in this series on the same day. This we shall find out. There we go. Raging Blasters, press any button. It recognizes the gamepad. Option, let's see, main menu English, we got this. Turn off vibration. Try to chip tune. And we'll do the other. We'll try solo. Looks like we just got three minute score attack. Hey, this is actually pretty fun so far. Not a big shoot him up or shim up or whatever. I'm gonna call him fan. Oh, sh I'm not very good at him either. This is actually, it's actually not a bad game. It's a shame I didn't actually buy this and put it on the Steam Audit review. Because if this game is all like this, it might actually hold up. I've got this. I survived the three minutes though. Oh shit. Unless stuff that comes up from the bottom of the screen that just hits you, you gotta know that it's coming. We got some new weapons. Oh, boss battle here. Got it. Got a new weapon. Not a big, I, I kind of like my other weapon, but. Definitely got an interesting variety of weapons. Got it. I might, I might actually survive the initial wave here that for it's part of the demo.
Let's try it with the regular music, see how it is. Where do I rank? I even make this list. What was my score? Oh yeah, I wasn't doing dual, so let's see. Let's see how the original. The controls are responsive, the weapons are interesting, the environments look pretty good. The music works. I actually felt bad putting Stargate as one of the options on here because I figured it was going to be unfair. putting a game that old up against a newer game isn't necessarily fair from a gameplay perspective I'd much rather play this even though both are solid games that stuff coming from the bottom of the screen am I missing something where I should know the stuff's coming I see that laser goes through all like a whole bunch of stuff. If you get stuff lined up, you can actually clear the screen quite easily. Should know not to be there. slow down Six twenty four. Oh, wow. Oh, we're way down this list. There we go, 637th place. I beat Tim. Retro 2029. Yeah, based on this, just this demo, this is a solid game.
not the best shoot 'em up out there, but I'm actually interested in potentially purchasing this. See if we catch it on sale at some point. Yeah, if we catch it on sale, I'm picking it up. But yeah. Hate to say it, but Steam's off to an early lead in this. I have two wins for Steam and a tie for each. Put this at a 4.0, so it's a high recommend versus the lower recommend of Stargate. But yeah, either game today, either game is worth picking up. One's a classic of the genre. Just a bit finicky on DOS. It requires a lot of effort getting set up. And Raging Blaster is actually quite a bit of fun. More modern game. But yeah, either game today, either game based on based on the short versions of them, looks like something would be worth getting the full version of. So yeah, Steam's off to an early lead, but do not worry. I think DOS shareware has a chance in this. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day.